Hey Deckers, Liam here. So here we are again. The Last of Us Part 1 had another big performance patch recently. And to my surprise, the game performance on Steam Deck is actually quite a bit better. But there is another major problem that I will get to in a moment. Naughty Dog and Iron Galaxy are actually starting to do some pretty good work here now after the pretty awful launch. You'll need to wait quite a while again though at the menu because the shaders need to be built back up yet again. It's nowhere near as bad as that launch where it needed an entire hour to do it. Now it's about 20 minutes for the main game and then about 5 minutes to also do the Left Behind DLC. It's not great, but it's still vastly better than it was originally. For this latest patch, they've optimised the CPU performance, they've improved level loading, they've improved the graphics on the lower end, and reduced the VRAM impact for low and medium settings as well, plus a whole bunch of other improvements. The impact of this patch and the patches before it are immediately apparent, keeping to the lowest details as I'm showing you here as I go through the display and the various different graphics options with FSR2 still set to quality and you can actually just pause the video or slow it down during that section if you need to see the individual settings but it's basically everything as low as it can go. These improvements can already be seen in the very intense intro segment after the car crash whereas before on the same settings, we were seeing it hit maybe around 24 frames a second and it would dip lower quite a few times as well. Now though, as you can see through this scene, we are getting much closer to 30 frames a second, although there are brief momentary drops, but it recovers generally quite quickly. It is a drastic improvement to what we saw before. Now I choose this scene to repeat because it is one of the most intense in the game and it's easy to retest it. These improvements can be seen everywhere else though with lots of places that previously struggled hard being much closer to a more stable 30 frames a second. However, there is still a problem where your RAM can fill up to about 14 gigabyte and then it will slow down to a crawl like you're seeing here, stutter, and eventually just stop completely where it will then just crash. It might return to your library, or it might hard crash the entire Steam Deck causing it to reboot. This is a repeating problem for games that use up a lot of RAM, and you might be able to use the Cryo Utilities to improve that. It's entirely random on who it affects. Some Steam Decks just don't seem to see it but it has been seen across games like God of War, The New Sons of the Forest, Ghost Recon Breakpoint, and other games. It's an issue that has been frustrating me and others more over time, as Valve seems to have no official fix for it yet. I'm hoping that potentially the SteamOS 3.5 update will help deal with this RAM issue just in a more graceful way. Back to The Last of Us Part 1, I would say perhaps in another one or two performance patches that it might potentially be properly playable. At least it's trending much more towards being playable now. And honestly, if you don't mind a couple dips here and there, you actually might get an okay experience with it right now if you don't see the RAM issue. But if you are after a perfect 30 frames a second, it's still not quite there yet, but the progress is good. So credit where it's due, they're doing good work, but it still shouldn't have launched in the state it did. If you completely bounced off The Last of Us Part 1 due to the initial release, it may now be worth going back and just trying it again to see what you think. If you do update it and give it a go, be sure to comment what your experience is with the game now on Steam Deck. I'm always keen to know what you think and if any of you see the RAM issue in this particular title as well. But that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and hit the like button. Please and thank you and see you later.